So what is laser flashback and how you can use 3D printing or a little inexpensive product to actually change that? So flashback is this soot that happens. This says flashback, this does not. Flashback is this soot that happens after the laser hits the breadcrumb tray and bounces back up. What you end up having to do when you look at um, these marks right here with flashback, you have to sand those off. If you're painting them, no big deal. But if you want that beautiful wood and you don't use masking tape, flashback is going to take more time to get this product out to the fair or put it on your Etsy shop or whatever else. So how do you save time? Well, you use these standoffs and these standoffs create a distance between the material stock and the breadcrumb tray. And so when that little nasty little laser shoots down, it can't bounce back up and it results in a clean back. Again, the difference is, is that this has flashback. This does not. So I don't have to sand it. Also, if you eliminate a sanding test, you also eliminate the dust and the noise. So if you're thinking about making a hundred of something, then it's worth the time to add these little standoffs. Now these standoffs, you can 3D print them themselves. You can buy a 3D printer for 200 bucks now and you can grab the file. These standoffs do take a little bit more time, but they're invaluable because once they lock in your breadcrumb trays, little clips, you can take a warp piece of board and you can change that over. Now, uh, this product exists. Um, you can buy it on Wish, you can buy this on Etsy and you can buy it at different places. Just look for standoffs, laser standoffs. So this little bottom of the clip will clip into your breadcrumb tray. Oh, by the way, I have an hour uh, fusion tutorial listed below. If you want to completely see how I designed this and understand threads and tons of things, it's just a great introductory way to learn Fusion 360, which is free for hobbyist and per personal use. So there is a thread that comes down. And so there's a little key I talk about making threads. You have to offset them in order for them to work perfectly. But once you learn the skill, you can make a lot of cool things. I think 3D printing and laser cutting is some one of the best partnerships with robots. Um, so by the way, if you're new to my channel, I'm a maker. I do CNC plasma, 3D printing, and laser cutting. I just love it all, and I design it. I'm a, I've been a teacher at NC State College of Design. So the difference is this thread, you may find it cumbersome to thread this on or off, okay? So what I did is made a quick top. So instead of it being difficult where you're turning it, you can just snap it on or off, okay? So let's say that you decide that I'm gonna do a bunch of blanks. You're gonna put these on first. You can just snap on this particular standoff and then when it stays, this, this one is the snap on these screws. It works for both. So if you order these, you get both the quick release and the threaded release, or you can just choose one of them. Or if you want the file, you can just print what you need. You can print it in PETG or PLA. I explain all of this in the readme file in that video. I also did a tutorial on how to create your own air fresheners. I use these geometric characters. These are going to be amazing for the upcoming season for Christmas and for Hanukkah. Whether or not you give them or you put them as ornaments, you can put in your gift card in the back. So you're, you would say, hey, okay, it's Johnny or Sally's time for the Christmas. You can just pull that off and just give that. So if you gave someone an ornament and it had a $10 or a $20 uh, gift card to their favorite home store, that would be kind of cool. I have a tutorial on that. But anyways, these standoffs work looking at the difference between the two. It is a huge game changer because of what you really need to do is you need some help getting things done, and you really don't want to sand as much as possible. So whatever you do, um, make something that connects someone. And if you're interested in my records that I cut out of wood, because it's not really safe to cut them out of plastic or any of the designs I have for that, I have that down below. But take care. I hope you, as it's cooling down, we get a lot of work done and we make some um, cool friends as we're giving things away as gifts or we're selling things. Peace out, and I'll see you in the next one.